Last week a new book was published co-written by Chelsea Clinton and entitled Governing Global Health, Who Runs the World and Why. Almost no one is buying the Clinton title, co-authored by Davies Ridge Hall, a global public health professor at the University of Edinburgh. It currently stands at number 74,374 on the Amazon bestsellers chart. The book profiles global health organizations and the work they do. Chelsea is vice chair of the Clinton Foundation which prioritizes improving global health. Published by Oxford University Press. The book is well-intentioned but bland in the extreme. And there is no answer given to the question who runs the world and why. Chelsea does however extensively eulogize Bill and Melinda Gates whose foundation has frequently partnered with the Clinton Foundation and substantially donated to various Clinton's initiatives. It is clear that the Gates Foundation has played a vital role in global health and can aptly claim credit for saving untold lives. Chelsea observes, when most people publish books, they want to shout about their opus from the rooftops to anyone that will listen. But the Clintons are different than you and I. A book for them amounts to an exercise in strategy rather than an opportunity to inform the reading public. Weirdly, Chelsea Clinton herself appears disinterested in promoting her book. Her Twitter bio only mentions her children's book It's Your World which is higher on Amazon's charts than the new work. Apart from a few fleeting mentions on Twitter, Chelsea has stayed silent about the book. She seems more excited about backing J.K. Rowling in her Twitter spat with Piers Morgan. Today Chelsea tweeted about Melinda Gates's goddess status and the kid's book It's Your World but has said nothing about the book she published last week. Did the fact that her mother lost the race to run the world to Donald Trump now render this book less relevant to the Clintons? Was it to have coincided with some health initiative that Chelsea would have spearheaded if her mother was president. Who knows? Her poor co-author Davies Ridge Hall, who at least get kudos from telling people at party the identity of her literary partner in crime, is holding out hope for the book's official launch in March. Maybe by then it will have broken the top 50,000 barrier on Amazon. Eat Street contributed to this report. Its news exposed signing off.